Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to click on this mini map and jump between different locations of the map by directly clicking here. So here you can see when I click this red square appears in the area that I am currently focused on and as I click you can see that changes. So this is what we are going to work on today. How to click on the minimap and change the location that we are focusing on in the game. And before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access everything without any limits. And here is the full playlist of this series, the strategy game with C++. So everything is shared here. You can follow these steps and everything ever, uh, implement everything by yourself. And also there is another series that I did a strategy game, but here I was using blueprints for them as the main development uh, language. So if you want to more into that, feel free to take a look at this as well. I leave the link to everything in description below. All right, now let's get back to today's episode. All right, so this is what we have right now. Here, if I click, you can see this black circle is going around the map. So what I want to do is when I click, my character should jump to that location by my character what i mean is the controller so i should focus on the on the clicked area of the map right so for that let me open my minimap widget okay first i'll remove this print i don't need it anymore and here I'll add a new event dispatcher. Let's call it on map clicked dispatch. On map clicked dispatch. And I'll add an input word location. It should be a vector. Right. So when I click on the map, I should be able to determine the corresponding location in the world and call with call this dispatch. So here I'll call on map clicked. Wait, not that. On map clicked dispatch. Call on map clicked dispatch. Now, how do we calculate this word location? So here we have the location on the minimap that we have clicked here this one and we can convert this to a word location because we already know half map size and half map widget size and also map center so i'll multiply this with because we converted a word location here with this logic to a location on the widget like this so we just need to do the invert of this see this is the logic so here i'll divide no i'll get half map size and half map widget size and I'm going to divide this two and then we can result we can multiply like this then this value so this this is a point that is same as this but to convert to the word we need to use y position multiplied by minus one and use as the x position because that's how it maps word to the canvas space 
so we can split this and make wait we need to add the map center as well because here we are calculating the widget space location using the position relative to the map center so we need to add that too and then split this x directly goes to y but y it be multiplied by minus one and go to x he said is zero so yeah I explained why do I have to multiply it by minus one at the point where we calculated this. So basically, the widget y is from here zero as it goes down, it goes to a positive value. And for x, left zero, right one. So that's why. Okay. Now, in the character maybe not the character let's go to this uh, game mode because it's a game mode thing i feel like it's a game mode thing here in the begin play i'll get widget no get this all widgets of class i'll disable this top level only because i need to get access to minimap and here it's valid if zero is a valid index then get a reference to the zero term and call bind let's bind a function or an event to on map selected bind event to on map click dispatch yeah that's the event and here let's create an event and let's create a machine event jump to location jump controller to location now I'll get player born and set up the location it is location that i get here okay now let's see wait nothing is happening okay let's see if this function get called it's not okay one possibility might be in the begin play of the game mode we may not have this so we can check it actually yeah i pressed f9 to add a debug point so that's why i got it so yeah it was invalid okay so how do we we should do this after hard is initialized well adding a small delay would also work but i don't know if there is a function or event that calls that fires after hard is initialized so i couldn't find an event that fires after hard is initialized so i just added a simple delay node and it is working for now but I strongly recommend if you can find the event that fires after hard is initialized, replace this delay with that because it's 
it's better to rely on a proper event rather than just having a delay so yeah now see I can click on the map and jump between locations so yeah that's so this happens because of I think my camera does not render I'm using uh, orthographic rendering so that's why in some places I get artifact facts like this but uh, that's not relevant what you're doing here so the system is working maybe I can fix it if I increase the spring of that that I noticed that uh, here make sure that you have disabled question test I have already done that and maybe this let's increase it a bit and yeah let's see yeah now it's working properly and i can jump between locations by directly clicking on the minimap okay great so that's all i want to work on for this episode and also maybe we no longer need this click object it's just something that I used to visualize. So that and click delete it from here because we automatically get the red square when I click. All right. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download here in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And do let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And goodbye.